Okay, we are ready to start working on our mixed media um, collage um, and also some crayon resist crab. So crayon resist is when we draw with crayon and then we paint over it and the crayon pops through the paint um, because crayon and water do not mix. We're also gonna be using some really fun textured paper. We're gonna be creating our own texture for the crab body and also adding some jewels and then a few fish and um, some sea plants to finish off the picture. So to start our crab, we're gonna take our sheet of white paper. You do wanna make sure your paper is going the horizontal direction, the long direction in front of you. With the pencil, we are gonna start drawing our horizon line where the um, sand on the bottom and the water are separated. So not directly across the middle, but you know, not too close to the bottom either. You can do a straight line or make it a little bumpy. Mine's slightly bumpy, it's not perfectly straight. I would not make a really wavy line, just a straight line across the bottom. Then we are going to, before we start painting anything with our crayons, we're gonna start working with, um, I'm sorry, before we start painting anything, we're gonna start with crayon. Um, any kind of crayons that you have will work best. Okay, so pull out a variety of crayons. Now because our water is going to be in cool colors, so you can see I did a lot of cool colored plants to kind of go with the blues and greens, but maybe you wanna put in some hot colors. So I'm gonna start thinking about some plant ideas or things that grow in the ocean, like coral, seaweed, maybe a starfish. I'm gonna start my plant, I'm gonna start one here. You can put it anywhere you want. Maybe I'm just gonna use a zigzag line. You do wanna push hard and you wanna hold your crayon really close to the bottom so that it doesn't break on you. And I'm gonna push hard so you can see my marks, my lines that I'm making. There, that's kind of a fun plant. And maybe I'll make one more over here. Keep in mind, we're gonna have a crab in the center, but it does not matter. We can glue our crab right over the top. So I'm gonna do another same plant, kind of a zigzag plant. Okay, I like that. I'm gonna switch colors and then maybe I will do a little sea star or maybe I'll do an X, put a line through it, line across, almost like a little snowflake. Could be a sea urchin. Um, and maybe I want another one. I'm gonna do a different color. I'm gonna do a sea star. So um, stars, you know, stars are kind of hard to draw. I just kind of start by coloring little spiky triangles. And I just kind of make it look sort of like star shape. You can make as many as you want. You can make one, you can make two. I'm gonna make a little or one down in the front. Just a baby one. And then maybe I'll draw some seaweed. So I'm gonna take a green. And maybe I wanna really, you know what, I'm gonna do dark green. I'm gonna do a large seaweed plant right in the back. I'm gonna start with a few kind of wavy lines. Then I'm gonna draw next to the line down and then I can color that in. And that gives me the seaweed. Okay, and we do wanna hold the crayon near the bottom so it doesn't break and you just keep adding your plant. Okay, so now we're gonna switch over to a white crayon. So you do wanna use a white crayon. And with the white crayon, we are gonna draw bubbles, round circles. Um, those are gonna give us our bubbles for the fish or the crab that are floating through. But the thing is we can't see them right now, so you're gonna to have to do your best to draw your circles. And pushing really hard is the best. You can kind of see them here, they're a little bit faint, but the harder you push, it's going to work really well when we paint over it. You're gonna see those white bubbles pop through the paint. Because remember, crayon and watercolor don't like each other. Crayon is wax and water is repelled by the wax. So when you go ahead and paint over it, it kind of rolls away. Just like when a car gets waxed and then you get water on it, it rolls off. It beads up into little bubbles and it rolls away. So I'm happy with that. I might just add a few blue bubbles just have a little bit of a difference. And why not throw a half bubble on the side? That's kind of fun, maybe a half bubble or two on the top. Okay, I love that. Now, if you want to make some marks where your sand will be, you can do that too, you don't have to. So maybe I just want to go and just take my crayon and add little polka dots or little dashes. Maybe it looks like speckles in the sand. That is definitely something that you can do. So kind of just work your way through if you want to add that. That's kind of fun. Okay. Once I get that, I'm also gonna take a color and outline my horizon line. So maybe I'll do, um, you know what? I'm gonna do that same color, kind of an orange color. Now my crayons have black wrappers. It's just a different type of crayon. Um, it does not matter what kind of crayon you use. They will all work the same. 
So now we're going to start painting over. Now in my picture, I use a blue, two different kinds of blue, but maybe you wanna do blue and like a sandy color, like an orange color at the bottom. That would be kind of fun. I'm gonna do that on this one. So I'm gonna take my water and my paints. I'm just using a watercolor set. You might have a single row. You might have different kinds and that's totally fine. Anything will work. So I'm gonna go ahead. I like to put my cup and my paint on the same side. I'm right-handed, so I'm gonna put it right next to my right hand. I'm gonna get my brush wet. So keep in mind when you paint, you do wanna wet your brush. When you are getting into your paints, you want to go, and I'm gonna use the orange color, you wanna just kind of wiggle your brush and pat your paints. Don't twist it, because that will ruin your, the brush hairs. So just kind of get your brush in there and work it for just a second to get that color on your brush. Then you can start by painting in your space at the bottom. Okay, and here we go. And as you can see, when I paint over, as long as I push hard, my crayon kind of pops right through the paint and it's just really pretty. The paint does not want to stick to the crayon. And maybe I'm gonna um, maybe go for a darker orange. So when you switch colors, you need to put your cup down, tap your brush in the bottom of the cup. I wipe water off and then I switch colors. That way I'm not transferring this color to other colors as I go. So you do need to tap your brush before you switch. So I'm gonna keep painting my picture. Okay, now that I'm done painting, you can see where those white circles pop through. It is super cute. It's a really fun technique. It is called Crayon Resist. It just looks fantastic. So now we're gonna put this to the side and let this dry. The next step is to start working on our crab. So for the crab, you should have two pieces of red paper. Now, if you don't have two pieces of red paper, you can always use a solid sheet of red paper, um, and that's totally fine. I'm gonna use two different shades of red. This one's more of an orangey type of, um, almost like a tomato red, and this one's more of a, like a pink, um, like a scarlet red. So for this part, we will need a glue stick and our crayons again. I am going to start by taking my lid off. Remember to take the lid off and twist up a little bit, not all the way out. I am going to put glue only on the edge of one of my pieces of red. So right on the edge. Okay. And make sure you put your lid on. If you need to twist it back down, twist it back down and glue those two together. Okay. Once you get those two glued together, we are going to work in um, sort of pinks and reds and oranges. Um, and blues and purples. So any of those colors that you can find. If you look at my crab, we have different patterns on the two sections of paper. This one's kind of scruggly, um, kind of scratchy marks, and this one has polka dots in different colors. So on one half of your paper, you're gonna pick a pattern. You can use any color crayon you want. You could do scribbles. Whatever you do, you need to cover that whole bottom paper all the way across. So maybe I'll throw in some blue because that was hard to see that orange kind of color. So maybe I'll just go in like a little circles. Okay, little scribbles. That's kind of fun. Okay, and I went right to the edges. Make sure you cover that. And then a different pattern up top. So maybe this time I want to do polka dots. So I'm going to go and draw these blue polka dots all over my paper. Okay, and I'm going to do two colors. Don't forget to go, look at, I have an empty space. Go right to the edges. Well, don't forget the middle section. And then I'll pick another color. So I'm going to use, um, let's see if we can see this color. Oh yes, look at that. It's kind of an orangey gold color. I'm gonna do some of that across my paper, creating two types of pattern. Maybe you wanna do diagonal lines. Maybe you wanna do zigzag. You can create whatever type of pattern you want with your crayon. So that's going to be the crab's body. So. To start the body of the crab, we are going to then turn the paper upside down and we're gonna use pencil. We're gonna be starting to draw kind of a football shape, but a very large football shape. It is about as big as my hand. So as large as you can get it. Now we're drawing on the back. Um, that way, if you make a mistake, you can draw it again. You can change it before we cut anything out. We're not cutting anything out until we have, um, we're have happy with it. So I'm going to use a Sharpie so that you can see it. Football shape. So starting at one point of the paper, I'm gonna draw a large half circle. And that's on the top half. And then now I'm gonna start drawing a large half circle going down. Down and up. Okay, 
Once you get your shape and you are happy with that shape, you are then going to grab scissors and we are going to start. Now remember, don't cut it out unless you love it. Okay. There's our crab body. Okay, to now start working on the crab, we're going to take the body and you can use a glue bottle or a glue stick. You are going to glue stick a lot on the back of this body. You do want to make sure that it sticks. Kind of want to move it around and see where you think it goes best. I think I'm going to put it, I'm going to put him over, yeah, more middle. We'll do, yeah, right in there. Go ahead and glue that down, press that down. Now we're gonna start working on the legs. So with the legs, we're gonna use different kinds of red and purple crayon, and they're long skinny legs in the shape of sort of an L. So maybe I will start with this purple. So it comes out from the body, makes you go color back and forth, back and forth, and then kind of an L shape down. There's one, I'm gonna do one on the other side. We're gonna make four legs on both sides. Once the legs are done, we're gonna start working on the upper claws and that's sort of an L shape going up. I use two different colors. You can use one, you can use two. That's up to you. Line up, line up. They go on the sides of the body. And then I'm going back and forth, making sure my lines are nice and dark. There are the upper um, arms. Once we get this done, we can start working on some of our extra details. So we're gonna start working on the crab claws. You should have scrap paper that came home. There are two different colors. We are going to take and turn it to the back. And with a pencil, I'm gonna use Sharpie so you can see it. You're going to draw a really large circle. You have to use the entire piece of paper. So. We're not gonna have much left when we cut this apart. So even if your pencil falls off the edge a little, that's okay. You must use the entire piece of paper. And you're gonna do that on both pieces. Get it close to the edge as you can. Get it as big as you can get it. Then you're gonna cut those out. Once we get the two cut out, you're gonna cut them in half. So find the middle and cut them in half. All right, and we can bring our crab back in now. So for the crab, to put the, the pieces on for the claws, you're gonna need your glue stick again. And we're gonna do one piece on one side and you're gonna match it to the other side. And then the same one goes on the other side. So whatever you do to one side, you have to do to the other side. So there's our same piece. And then your last two pieces go next to those. But we wanna leave it open, leaving a V shape. So it looks like his claws are open. Perfect, that looks great. We are now going to then start working on a few extra details. We're gonna start working on the eyes. And for the eyes, for the eye stalks, we're gonna use a Sharpie for that. You are going to draw two lines up. One, two, find a good spot for it. Maybe you wanna make it a little thicker, that's up to you. Okay, so to make the eyes, you should have two white squares. We are going to put the two white squares together. Using your pencil, you are going to draw a, not a huge circle, but a circle in the middle, not as big as the claws. And we're gonna do it with the two pieces held together, or you can draw them separately. But if you put the piece of paper together and you hold them tight, you can pinch it in the middle, you can cut them out at the same time. If that's too hard, just draw two separate circles about the same size cut them out, and then you're going to glue stick on where the eye goes. There we go. And then if we flip this one over, you won't see the pencil lines. There, perfect, okay. And then with your Sharpie, you are going to take and outline the eye. And we're going to add a pupil, and you can make him look in any direction. This one, I'm gonna have him look in this direction. And then you can color that in. It's gonna be looking to the left over here. Love it, so cute. If you wanna add a, a mouth, you can. Um, so with your Sharpie, you can add a smile or maybe you want like a wavy mouth. Maybe he's not so happy of a crab. Um, that's up to you. And then the um, one of the last things we're going to do, if you have the white paint, 
we are gonna be using a ruler or a paint stick to dip and start pressing on, as you can see here, we start pressing on these little plants. So not touching your crab, not going over your crab, but you're going to just start stamping. Stamp, going in different directions. And you can make some pieces coming off. Kind of looks like a little sea plant. And I'm gonna do one more on the other side. So just take your little paint stick and we're gonna stamp it. Now, if you're at home and you don't have the paint stick, we are going to use our scrap paper. You're gonna take the strip and you're gonna cut it into sections, not too small. You can make as many as you want. And then using a glue stick, you are going to glue down those plants. So instead of making the paint plants, you're going to go ahead and do the glue plants. So just put your glue stick down where your pieces need to go and you can overlap things. This one goes over the top of that plant and that's fine. Okay, and then maybe I wanna cut and do some smaller pieces branching off the sides. Maybe I'll do one here. Okay, and I'll do one up here. And there's a little plant. So that looks fantastic. The last step we're going to do, there are some jewels that I sent home for you. These are going to go on your project. You are going to have to use a bottle of glue for this part because otherwise they will not stay. So you're gonna take your bottle of glue and on the bottom part of his belly, find where you want, I'm gonna spread mine out, where you want your jewels to go. And then just pop them into the glue. You do want quite a bit of glue so that the glue goes around the gem just a little bit. And this one, and this one. 